In our beginner's guide to Google Chrome, we've been looking at some of the basic but main functionalities of our web browser so that we can all together optimize our online adventure. Some of us suffer from poor eyesight, and if that's the case, wait, let me whack on my glasses, then this video is for you with three main tips on how to optimize your use of Google Chrome for people who have poor eyesight. So here we go. Hello there, my name's Guy and welcome to Guy's Guides where we provide easy and simple online guides to help you all with your online adventure. In this mini-series we've been focusing on Google Chrome, the most popular web browser in the world, bringing to us some amazing functionalities to optimize our journey throughout the web. In the previous videos we've gone through some of the basic functionalities including how to use tabs and the search bar, but also things like your browsing history and even the wonderful feature of bookmarks. And don't worry if you haven't got Google Chrome on your computer yet, as it's very easy to install and you can go straight back to our bonus video where we show you exactly how to do that. Now I know that the internet can be daunting for some people, and even more so if you have poor eyesight and struggle to read what's written on the page or see some of the images. And so in this video we're going to go through three easy and simple tips to help you change Google Chrome so that it adapts to your eyesight and it helps you be able to optimize your online experience. As you may have seen on some websites there are areas where text or images are smaller than others and this can sometimes prove difficult to be read. So here we are on the Web of the Week website. Now for some people it may be easy to read this, but for others it may be difficult to read these different tiles. So what I can do is use the zoom functionality on Google Chrome, which will allow me to zoom in and out of the page to be able to display things in a bigger style. We go up to our usual menu over on the top right hand corner. I click on this which will reveal our usual menu and we see here an option called zoom. I see here that I'm on 100% which means that the screen or the size of the page is at its usual size. And I can either zoom out or zoom in by using these minus or plus buttons. When I zoom in, the text and images gradually get bigger on my screen so that I can see better. I can then quit the menu and navigate throughout the website that I'm on at this particular setting of zoom. So here I can see better and when I go through to an article, we'll notice that the text is slightly bigger than usual. Now, if this is too big, we can then again zoom out just by simply going back into the menu and clicking on the minus button, which will allow us to zoom out to 100% and display the page at its usual size. So at any time, I can come back to this menu and use the zoom functionality to zoom in so that I can see better and zoom out if I need to see more of the page. So the zooming in and out functionality is great for one-off purposes where I need to zoom into something to be able to either read some text better or see an image better. But to be honest, the most difficult thing to see is usually text on our browsers or on websites. And that's where our second tip comes in, which is how to change the font size, in other words, the text size on your web browser to adapt to your eyesight. Now we can do this by simply coming up into our usual menu, which is up here with the three vertical dots. I click on that and I see down here something called settings. Let's go into settings and then select on the side here, the section which is called appearance. In appearance, I see the first thing, which is the font size, which is where Google Chrome makes it really easy to change the font size on our web browser. Here I can see I can select different settings from very small up to very large. And when I click on very large, as you'll see here, the text has got bigger and therefore easier to read. However, by changing the font size here in this very easy setting, it does have some limitations. And that's because on some websites, this won't change the text font. Let's come back to Web of the Week here, where we see that indeed, the text size has not changed. Now, if you want to change the text size on all websites, come back into your settings, which I have open in my tab up here, 
and then we click on this option which is called Customize Fonts. In here I can set the minimum font size which is the text size across all websites. Let's just set it back to tiny and we can see here that as I drag my mouse up the line the text below slowly gets bigger and if I set it right to huge over here there's no need to save any settings. Let's just come back to Web of the Week where we can see now that the text in these tiles has got significantly bigger and easier to read. When I go through to the article, the text has also got bigger and easier to read. And remember, if you still need to zoom in, we can still use this zoom in functionality to make it even bigger and easier to read. So now I can zoom back out by coming back again into my menu up here. And then I can come back into the settings to make sure that this minimum font size is set to the correct size that's adapted to your eyesight. So I'm somewhere around here and so I'm just going to leave it at 16 up here. No need to save, I just quit my settings and come back to Web of the Week where if I click on here we can see that the size of the text is back to its usual size on my own screen. But it's not always the size of text or images which makes things difficult to see or read. It can sometimes also be the contrast of colours that there is on our screen which makes it really difficult to read what's written. And that's where our third and final tip comes in, focusing on how we can change the contrast of colours on websites by using a particular extension on our web browser called Color Enhancer. In order to find Color Enhancer, the first thing that we need to do is install it on Google Chrome. So we open a new tab up here and search for Chrome Web Store, which is where I can install any extensions that are useful for me. I click on Chrome Web Store and use this search bar up at the top here to search for the particular extension that I'm looking for. It's called Color Enhancer. The first option is the one that I want to talk to you about today. So I click on Color Enhancer. Let's just add it to Chrome by clicking on this blue button up at the top here and clicking on Add Extension. This pop-up comes up up here telling us that it's ready to be used. And we can follow the simple steps of clicking on this icon up here to start managing our settings. Oh, it's disappeared. But don't worry, all of our extensions are accessible by clicking on this puzzle icon up here where I can see my option Color Enhancer is available. And when I click on that, this little pop-up comes up where I can enable Color Enhancer so that it can do its job. I click on Enable and the next step is to select the row with the faintest stars. So for me, that is actually the bottom row here where I have the most difficulty seeing the stars. So I click on that and then it says down here that I need to adjust the slider until all of the stars are visible in the selected row. So I move this by dragging my finger and as you can see the colours are slightly changing and now at this time I can now see all of the stars easily. There we go, and now I click on OK, and this has now set my colour adjustment adapted to my own eyesight. So let's just go back to Web of the Week, and as you can see, the colours have slightly changed so that it makes it easier for me to read, and also easier for my eyes so that they don't get as tired as usual. So I can now use this on any single website and even if I go to BBC News, I can see here that the colours have also changed around this website. Let's just see that by going to Colour Enhancer, clicking on it and clicking on Enable to move it back to the usual colours where you can see that it's now a brighter red. Let's come back to Web of the Week and do the same thing. So here you can see it's a bright blue and when I click on Color Enhancer to enable it, it becomes less bright so that I can more easily read the text around here. I really do think that this extension is useful not only for people who struggle to read with high contrasts of colors, but also to help our eyes. 
And remember, even once Color Enhancer is installed on your web browser, you can enable or disable it to use it whenever you would like to help your eyes. And you can do that just by going back into the extension options by clicking on the puzzle icon, clicking on Color Enhancer, and saying enable or disable by clicking on the checkbox. So anyway, that brings our video to an end for today, showing you how to optimize your experience. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, please do like the video below, subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of our Web of the Week guys guides. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment down below in the comments section and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with an answer or who knows, a new Guys Guides video. Thanks so much for watching and join us in the next video of Guys Guides.